Hey YouTube, got a quick tutorial for you because I'm going to go really fast with this because I made a 20 minute video and then Campasia just thought it'd be hilarious if it just deleted it without even letting me upload it. So today I'm going to be showing you how to fully edit your iPod Touch to make it customized to personally you. So t first we're going to go off theming and how to make well how to technically make your own theme not fully though but I'm guessing that'd be along the same line so first you're going to need to download the theme from Cydia once open you're going to need to find a theme that you would like you can do that easily by looking through themes I normally do complete because I like my theme to be complete but recently, of course, I have found a theme that I like, Monster Energy right there. So you download that, and then you install Winterboard, which is extremely easy, and I'm sure most of you have it. Sorry if you hear Monster 3 in the background, but I was getting kind of bored. And then, once you did that, you need iFile, which is extremely easy to get. You just download that from Cydia. Right there. iFile. Once you did that, you go into Winterboard, and then right there, select Themes, and you find the theme that you got. And you check it, you click back, and then right there, there should be Respring. Once it's respringed, you might think, hey, I don't exactly like the wallpaper or the lock background. So you go into iFile. And then you, you should be here. You click bar right there. And then you scroll down to stash. And then right there, there's themes. You click it, you find the theme that you got right there, Monster Energy. And then in bundles, not bundles, that's later. Right there, there should be a picture called lock background. Now if you don't like that, you just find a new picture and then rename it Lock Background. You click Edit right there. You select the picture. You click that thing right there. Click Cut or Copy. And then you, you probably don't know how to do that. I'm going to open up a new thing, new page. So once you're here, once you've downloaded the picture you get that you want to be the lock background or the wallpaper, you click media, DCIM, open, and then right there, 100 Apple, and you scroll through these pictures until you find it. And then here you click that blue arrow right there next to the picture that you want and rename it lock background. And then once you do that, you click edit, you click the picture that you want. And you click cut or copy right there and then you go back to the theme and you click edit right there and then click paste once it's in there you take the old one and put a capital T next to it by editing the name again there now that you have that then you'll need to respring it I hope you know how to do that if not You'll need a thing called SB settings and then you'll activate it like that by swiping across the that. That's the default. You click respring right there and then it'll respring. So then you have your fancy new lock background, but now you want this. You go on Google, search, shut up, you search for what you want like if you want a hello kitty you search hello kitty lock slider then you download it and then right here in bundles not bundles oh yeah right here in bundles there should be a thing right there telephone you telephony ui and then you save it in there but most likely it will not have 
that at the end, the 2x, the at 2x, little squiggly thing, iPhone. You have to add that. And then you'll respring again. And then your fancy new lock slider will be right there. Now you want to edit the text. Well, if you do get the monster one, you should have a folder named com.apple.springboard. And then English LR3. And then springboard dot strings. You click it, open in text viewer, and then right there, there is what your lock says. So you just edit what that says, and then you're done with that. Next thing you're going to want to do is open up Cydia again. Isn't that fun? Ha. Huh. And you're going to need to get. Come on. I guess you can just download it, download all of them one time for the rest of the video. Shut up. At least cancel. You're going to need to download. You go over here to search. Then you're going to type in. Um. Huh. Slide to unlock. And then right there, you're going to get the middle one, the slide to unlock text colors. And then next, you're going to want to go to sections, and then right there, add ons Zeppelin. You're going to find the one that you want, get it, and install them. Install both of those at the same time. And is there anything else that I wanted? Oh, yes, fonts right there. You'll find the font that you want in here by scrolling through. And two that I suggest is the one that I have right now. It is Abuse Font right there. And then the other one, Akbar Font. These are both good ones. Then you download them. And then you open up the Byte Font. Let me find that. I hit it because I don't like the app, them popping up. B Y. T byte uh, byte font that will be on your home screen once you're done. Now you're going to select the one that you want, and then it'll respring. So now you did that. You have your fancy font on, and now you want to learn how to use Zeppelin. Now you just scroll down here to Zeppelin. You click theme and you select the one that you want. You won't have some of these because I downloaded the energy pack. Next, you're going to want to learn how to make it so that right here, that retarded camera thing, opens up a useful app like the music player, which will be opening. But it won't. There we go. That's easy. You go to Cydia. Then you download any lock app. There you go. And then next, you'll probably already have Activator. This is awesome. It lets you activate any app anywhere. So, yeah, that's useful. Extremely. Next, you want to get InfiniDoc from Exalize, I'm pretty sure, on Cydia. And then you can set it up to what you want. Um, hmm. Speed Intensifier is also good. Makes everything go extremely fast. Unless you're recording, apparently. Um, yeah. And then a few helpful tweaks that I found. As well, if you go to SB settings, I don't know if you guys have it or not, just download it. And then you go to activation methods. You can choose how to activate it. And to get this, if you guys want this, you just search Bob Marley on Cydia, and it should say Bob Marley SB settings thing. And yeah, so that's extremely good. And now, how to get in-app purchases 
for free once I load this back up again. Sorry about that. So, you'll download IAP Cracker from Cydia, and then you'll need to open up any app that has things you need to buy. I skipped through that because now those are my text messages. And then you can just click, 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 you can purchase credits. Now, thing to realize, if it says enter your password, you will be charged. Let's see how it's not asking me. That's how you know if it's working. So there you go. Um, yeah. Hmm, what else? Well, I pretty sure that's it. I showed you everything that I have. Oh, except for Barrel. If you download Barrel Pro, pretty sure it's by Exelage or the free one, you can get this. So it makes your eye icons look pretty sexy as you're scrolling. I know it looks retarded on the computer because it's lagging, but it looks really sexy on my iPhone. So that is all of it and so now you have fully customized your iPod if there's anything that I didn't put in that you would like me to put in I will do that just leave a comment and goodbye